Hi, my name is Dane and this is my dog, Dipstick. Uh, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to walk your dog properly. Now, walking your dog is very important because it is one of the most primal activities that you can do with your dog. It's also a good way of you displaying your ability as a pack leader. Now, many people don't know this. What happens is the dog ends up pulling on the leash, starts sniffing around, does whatever, whatever it wants to, comes into contact with other dogs and, and just becomes aggressive or, or extremely submissive. And this is not ultimately what you want. You want to be in control on your walks all the time and for the dog to have its attention and focus solely on you and on what it's doing and having good exercise. Um, so today I'm going to show you some basic techniques uh, that you'll be able to practice on your own with your own dog and hopefully your walks will become a lot calmer um, and a lot more controlled. Okay, so let's get started. Before you actually even think about walking a dog, it is good to have a positive mindset of your walks. You need to focus on you and the energy that you are projecting because the energy that you project on your walks will determine how the dog behaves um, on, the, on the walk itself. So you need to be calm and relaxed and associate the leash with calm and assertive energy that will be reverberated to your dog and the dog will pick up its cues from you and the walk will be more successful and more controlled. Body language is also very important. You want your shoulders to be back. Your body language needs to convey that you're relaxed, that you are calm. So shoulders back, standing upright, leash relaxed. And, and this is the way that you want to ultimately uh, walk with your dog. So you, the dog will always be next to you, never in front of you. Uh, either next to you or behind you, uh, either or but never in front of you because in front of you conveys that he is the pack leader and you are the follower, you are the subordinate and ultimately what you want to convey is that you are the superior and he is the subordinate uh, follower, right? You are pack leader, he is follower. Now, in the event that your dog doesn't listen to you and always pulling on the leash, what you need to do is you need to display correction um, this is really easy. Uh, you can either do it with a leash or you can do it with your foot or your hand. And basically what a correction is just a simple touch uh, to take the dog's attention away from what it's doing and back onto you. So when you're doing a correction with a leash, it's always very important uh, to never pull backwards because that is submissive behavior or never pull forwards, it's always to the side. So if your dog is displaying some behavior that you don't want it to do on the walk, uh, such as tracking or uh, pulling on the leash or just being aggressive towards other dogs, just a simple tug to the side, you shift his attention away from whatever he's doing back on you. Alternatively, what you could also do is uh, you could give him a touch uh, to remind him or her uh, that, the, that you are packing, that you are in control. And this is just a simple, uh, a simple tap on, on any part of the body uh, just just to remind it and that's just the tap to the foot and you see uh, that immediately attention shifts back to you. So guys I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I hope that the the principles that we discussed in this video and the methodologies you guys are able to uh, personify and use um, to your advantage and hopefully the walks with your dogs will be a lot calmer, a lot more controlled uh, with you being pack leader and you being in control. Uh, so thanks again for watching um, and uh, let me know uh, if this video was of any help.